English Creamery. My name is um, Tanya Henson. I'm uh, the owner with Robert Henson um, here. We just opened a week ago. We're very, very excited with the response we've had so far. I guess Downton Abbey and The Crown have created some serious tea monsters in the States. Um, we've already had about 60 people here having afternoon tea. We've got 30 more bookings for Sunday. Um, afternoon tea, what is it? Um, it's a beautiful 
tiered plate of little crustless sandwiches, cucumber, cream cheese, salmon, cream cheese, cucumber, jubilee chicken, um, what else have we got? Egg salad, then we've got scones, real clotted cream, strawberry jam, then lots of little um, cakes on top, little mini trifles, coconut macaroons, chocolate truffles, all sorts of little delicacies. Um, we've also got Victoria Sponge, um, which is an afternoon uh, cake that it's like a quintessential afternoon cake that people have with a cup of tea in England. We've got some amazing afternoon tea, so we hope you'll pop by and um, see us, and we appreciate um, you spreading the word. Thank you. Do you want to tell us the proper way to eat the free tea? Well, you now when you drink tea people say that you should have your pinky out really that actually came from uh, I believe um, you, where you where your hat where your hands were dirty um, you know so it's not really necessarily posh to do that even though people go pinkies up um, afternoon tea came from the Duchess of Bedford who used to eat her main meal at 12 o'clock and her dinner at 8 o'clock and at 4 o'clock she would be a little peckish so she would ask her butler to bring in um, a piece of cake and a cup of tea and the Earl of Sandwich had just invented the sandwich so he then brought in a little sandwich so she had a piece of cake and a sandwich and a cup of tea and she loved it so much she just kept asking him to do it soon she invited her friends and her friends were they came to enjoy it and then Queen Victoria heard about it and Queen Victoria started having afternoon tea at the palace. So that's sort of how the afternoon tea came to be. I have always loved it. It's one of the traditions that I think everyone should experience all the time. And so I decided with my husband to open this place in Pensacola because it's got a beautiful vibe in this lovely historical area. And we have everything other than afternoon tea. And now we have something lovely to offer people who enjoy tea so please come and see us thank, thank you thank you <laughs>